アーバンシー14番ゲートに向かいましたさあ体制完了ゲート開いた第13回ジャパンクッポスタートを切りましたさあ目白パーマーが行くんでしょうかそれとも走る将軍レガシーも行くのか先行争いやはり予想通り絶賢6番目白パーマー山田大成が行きました大成が行ったそして8番のレガシーワールド2番手につけました3番手5番の走る将軍であります有力馬はこれを見るような形でレースを進める構えであります第一コーナーをカーブしていきます山田大成目白パーマー行きましたレガシーが2番手外から13番待ちかねタンホイザ大幅幸雄も行っている1コーナーから2コーナーもやにかかる16頭であります目白パーマーのリードは三馬身くらいでありますレガシーが依然として2番手インコース5番の走る将軍アウトコース待ちかねタンホイザでありますその後ろからライシャワーが行っていますさあ向こう上面もう一度先頭から見てみましょう先頭は6番の目白パーマーでありますあまり大逃げではありません三馬身から四馬身といったところ2番と8番のレガシーワールドアウトコース待ちかねタンホイザでありますその後ろに見ますとゼッケン5番の走る将軍であります白い帽子ライシャワーがいますその後方でありますがちょっと番が切れましてウィニングチケットそのアウトコースに外戦門賞馬アーバンシー白い勝負服ブラズーがいますゼッケン4番がプラティンでありますそして黄色い帽子9番がザ・ファントムチャンスアウトゴースホワイトマズルさらにナチュラリズムこういったところが言っています追い込み場コタシャンはコタシャンは後方から現在3投目から4投目といったところ進んでおりますさあ早くも先頭のパーマーは3コーナーから4コーナーに向かっているためて逃げています山田大成大逃げではありません大逃げではありません山田大成の目白パーマーでありますさあ依然としてレガシーが2番手依然としてレガシーが 2, 2番手さあ後続は無徐々に差を詰めてまいりました後続は無徐々に差を詰めてくる来車は待ちかねタンコイザ先頭から4番では日本の馬がぎっしりと列を作っているさあ外国の強豪がどういったあたりから襲いかかってくるのか第4コーナーカーブ普通の直線 500m に入ってまいりましたさあ先頭はメイドパーマーメジロパーマーが先頭レガシーワールドが来たレガシーワールド来た赤い帽子走り将軍も頑張っている2番のフィンニングチケット外から白い勝負服ブラズーがやってきたブラズーがやってきた横に広がった横に広がった何勝つかわからないレガシーがわずかに先頭かウィニング来たプラチンがやってきている外から7番のコタシャン外から7番のコタシャンもイヤシやってきたコタシャンだ外からコタシャンがやってきたすごいイヤシやってきたすごいイヤシやコタシャンがやってきたレ,レガシーワールド頑張るレガシーワールド頑張るレガシー頑張ったレガシー頑張ったレガシーやった勝ったのはレガシーワールド去年四着の鬱憤を晴らしました勝ったのは日本代表レガシーワールド河内宏ですブリーダーズカップを制しましたコタシャン以下の追い込みを退けましたバブスリターンビングプレスト・オール・ザ・タイム・バイ・ 
Wagon Master who takes it up now. Wagon Master being hampered slightly by the loose horse. King Sierra has moved into second. White Muzzle's putting in a tremendous finish. And it's King Sierra and Wagon Master from White Muzzle. White Muzzle coming there, stranded a challenger. It's King Sierra from White Muzzle as they race into the closing stages. King Sierra's going to win it from White Muzzle at the line. King Sierra's won it. White Muzzle is second. Third is Wagon Master. Four Apple Tree and behind Apple Tree came Petit Lou and then Foyer, then Bob's return, and then our heart bitterly disappointing. Chateauillon came next, and Environment Friend and tailed off last was one of the early leaders, urgent request, and so the result of the 1994 King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes is first, number 12, King's Theatre, owned by Sheikh Mohammed and Mr. Michael Poland, trained by Henry Cecil, written by Michael Canan, only his second ride in the race, and he won on his only his previous one, Bell. For betting purposes, which is your white sash, where they race away, Dancien was slow to go, and they burst out of the stalls, and uh, Dancien taken back through the Field. We expect Broadway Flyer to go up and make the running, and he's doing just that, setting a good pace. Two out wide, Sierra Madre, King Cedar holds a position near Zood. Milcom in a good position, the last quarter mile is vital for him. Intrepidity just ahead of Carnegie, then comes Bright Moon, shuffling down the pack. We have only Royal Hernando on the outside, is uh, Celtic Arms, and then wide of these is Big Tobin. And at uh, this stage, White Muzzle has only got three behind him, and they are Vertamond, uh, much better in the slow starting dance here. But it's Broadway Flyer leading in the white jacket. On the outside, the grey horse is Sierra Madre. Between the pair, intrepidity in the yellow, would you believe it, sash. And then running the rail is... Uh, King's Theatre. Behind that one comes Ezud. On the outside is uh, uh, the white sash of Richard of York and this massive maroon uh, pressed by Milcom. And then behind these uh, comes Bright Moon settled mid-division. Apple Tree is uh, in mid-division too. White Muzzle last but one, giving his horse a lot to do as they continue uh, through the first half mile and begin a right-handed turn. And it's Broadway Flyer in the lead from Intrepidity on the outside, uh, sharing second place there with King's Theatre. Then on the outside, Sierra Madre and Celtic Arms, and just in behind these we have uh, Landa who's running wide and they go past the halfway stage and Broadway Flyer has kicked clear by about six to eight lengths. Uh, we're looking at the chasing group now, there's Broadway Flyer and uh, running the rail is uh, King's Theatre, then Intrepidity, and on the outside, races Celtic Arms, Ezud, and then just behind these comes Milcom, Lando on the outside, but Broadway Flyer is clear by six as they come down, uh, with just one more turn to take in the 40, a uh, de Larca Triomphe, and it's Broadway Flyer, clear from King's Theatre, Intrepidity, and Richard of York, and then just in behind these comes Sierra Madre, travelling well, White Muzzle starting to pick up, but is going to spin wide as they start the turn in, and it's Broadway Flyer, still clear by four, Intrepidity, the outside of King's Theatre. Then comes Ezud on the outside. Milcom, the unbeaten horse with a run. Try to come with a run. Richard of York. Apple Tree starts to pick up. And they're coming to take Broadway Fly, who can't hold on. It's King's Theatre. And King's Theatre and Richard of York. And on the outside, Bright Boom with a dash. Here comes Hernando bursting to the back in dark blue. And Carnegie's in the front rank too. Come down towards the winning line. And Hernando flashing through the inside of Carnegie. Carnegie and Hernando as they race up towards the line. Carnegie, Hernando the one. Two, then Apple Tree and behind that one is Zoom. Uh, then came home 